Well, Valentine's Day is this week, and if you are looking to impress your Valentine, what about a charcuterie board and some cocktails? Lauren Richardson met up with Emily from Make Food Lovely for some great ideas. Okay, yeah, hey guys, I'm here with Emily Law from Make Food Lovely. Hi, Emily. How are you, Lauren? I am great. <laughs> I am so excited uh, for Valentine's Day. It's going to be a Gouda charcuterie spread that we're making today, yeah, right? We're, we're going to <laughs> hand a cheese plate and ask, will you bring mine? It's the, uh, We're very much in theme, right? I love it. I love it. <laughs> love the cheese pounds. Okay, so let's talk about what we're going to be doing today. We're doing um, cheese and mocktails. Yes. So we have three different cheeses. We have a Borsan, we have a, a two-year age cheddar, and then we have a Cabot Pepper Jack. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn all of these cheeses into hearts. So we can okay. make them different sizes, but we have these little heart cookie cutters, okay. so that's how we're going to shape the hearts. So okay. If you want to choose one of the two cheeses. I love pepper jack. Okay, good. So start with the pepper jack. Yeah. And you can either start with a larger heart or a smaller heart. Okay. Okay. And then what I'm going to do at the same time is I have the Borsan, which is a soft spreadable cheese. Okay. And it comes in this foil. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw up some Taylor Swift heart hands on it. Oh. And I'm just going to shape the foil. Oh, that makes it so easy. Um, I'm just taking this little ramkin dish. I'm lining it with five slices of salami. If you had a different size one, it would be however you could align it so that it's overlapping but also pushed down. You don't want it to be totally sticking out the top. Just okay. So, and you also don't want it to be folded over. That's another way that sometimes people do Got it. So, it. okay, it sticks up. And then you take the remaining salami, which I usually count out to be six for this size mm -hmm. of cup. You put it in a chain like the hungry, hungry caterpillar. You fold the whole thing in half lengthwise, like a hot dog bun. And then you start rolling from Just one roll end it. to the other, like you're rolling up that sleeping bag if it was to ever get back in that nylon sack. <laughs> it doesn't. And then you have the little bud. It's so pretty. That goes right in there. I love it. And you know, what says I love you more than It's perfect. <laughs> meat, meat and cheese. The meat flour. I mean, come on. <laughs> so we have our okay. little, we have our meat flour. So yes, we have the remnants do, of the cheese. Exactly. So I always okay. do cheese, then I do meat. So I also have these mozzarella and prosciutto roll-ups. There's also some herbs They're in so there too. Cute. Very, very cute. So yeah, you can just kind of pile them together just on the board. Yeah, put them in a little nook together. Oh, I love this. Yeah. What a great date night idea. And then we also have some apples, which I like to slice them really thin and then fan them out just to make it look a little pretty. And then just like we did with the cheese, we yeah. can also take those cookie cutters and use them on the strawberries. Oh. So you can do cut the, these big strawberries like in half. One. Yep. And then just okay. do it right on there. Okay. And that's super easy to do. And then when you pop it out, then you have these really adorable. Oh. Yep. <laughs> so cute. And then you can kind of just put them in the spaces where they need to be filled in, but also that nice contrast of the white and the strawberry. Wow. And then you also can just put the strawberries on if you wanted to, too. Yep. Just, yep. again, chalk, it, any chocolate you might have, that's always a great addition. Well, it's beautiful. Yeah. I love it. All right. Well, now we're going to move on to the the mocktails slash cocktails, whatever kind of, you know. Yes. Whatever you want to do. Perfect. I'm a mocktail girl right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why? No, <just> kidding. <laughs> okay. So we have three that we're going to be making. We're going to be making a blood orange margarita with non-alcoholic tequila alternative. We're just going to be doing a sparkling pomegranate in a like champagne coupe okay. with a really cute little garnish. And then we're also going to be doing a non-alcoholic sparkling wine, um, so sparkling cider essentially. Okay. Also in a coupe with a very on-trend bow. Bows are all over the internet right now. Um, and then we're going to be doing that with a strawberry heart garnish. And this is the non-alcoholic sparkling wine. This is the non-alcoholic sparkling wine. Okay. So we have our little strawberry heart, and we're going to put the skewer through it. Oh, so pretty. So just like a little, you know, arrow yeah. through the heart, yeah, Cupid's yeah. arrow. Love. And just pop that in there. So I have these X's okay. and O candies okay. that I found. I found them at Trader Joe's. I found them at other places before. Love. So we're going to do an XOXO. Um, Skewer. Skewer. An XOXO garnish. Okay. So, okay. It is a little tricky to and get we're on. putting them like this, right? Yeah, you like want to go right okay. through and then just yep, kind of yep. wiggle it on. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so the last thing we're going to do is a blood orange margarita. Oh my gosh, my O is falling apart. That's, That's okay. okay. <laughs> it still looks like an O. It does. So I'm going to do... It's all about the fun. I'm going to do a pour of this fresh blood orange juice. Okay. 
And then this is the non-alcoholic tequila. Yeah. And I'm gonna hold this away from my microphone and your microphone because <laughs> it's gonna be very annoying. <laughs> So once you have it, right. and the trick is, is if you do 50 shakes, that's kind of the standard bartender thing. 50 so shakes. So if you do more than 50 shakes, then you start getting those ice crystals because it's really chilled because the uh, ice is broken up against it. Too cold. It's a pro level Got move. It. Okay, <laughs> yeah. no, good to know. Here. Okay. Right. So this is the blood orange Maria. So okay. now. I have um, skin of a grapefruit that I cut into a diamond, or you can think of it as like a very skinny carrot. Wow. Okay. Then you just do a slice in the middle. Okay. And then what you're going to do, everyone buckle up for this one. You take it and you, so you take it, you take the top and you pinch it in, you fold it over, wow. and you have an orange heart. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. I love it. That's Emily, a really easy one. <laughs> this is genius. Like literally genius. All right, you grab a mocktail. Okay. All right, let's say cheers. All right. Okay. Cheers! Cheers! Happy Valentine's Day! Happy Valentine's! Cheers. Mm. All right, so many good tips there. Emily also has a bunch of fun-themed workshops all around the state. You can learn more and visit makefoodlovely.com or check out Make Food Lovely on Instagram. 